Okay, uh, good morning everyone and uh, welcome to this uh, industry day on uh, dissertation. Thank you to Dina Rendis office to organizing this event. Uh, so I'll be mostly talking about uh, various activities of Technocraft Center for Applied Artificial Intelligence that it is undertaking and uh, largely just focus on some of the initiatives that has been already going on and uh, what we are planning going forward. So uh, this center is created with a vision to create platform to enable academia and industry sector to leverage the benefits of AI and machine learning. And we want to achieve this through fostering collaboration between industry and academia and applied artificial intelligence. So here we really want to take the benefits of AIML to industry by engaging with them. And here we want to focus on various sectors and one of them is the defense sector also. So just to give a very broad view of what is this center, the center has its own advisory committee, it has its own core committee and also proposal review committee. And uh, this is like a center created at IIT Bombay and we have faculty associated across uh, from all the departments. So we, uh, because a lot of the AI projects needs expertise in various domains. So whenever a project we have in AI, we look for expertise uh, uh, from other fields. I will just not go into the, these details. This is uh, the core committee members. These are our review committee members. So review committee members, whenever we propose uh, some review, when we take up with the industry and all, like we, these people will review feasibility about all the projects. Okay, now about core strength of IUR, uh, sorry, in the TCA2I. As I said, we have been connecting with faculty across. Some of the core strength that we have focusing, which are pretty much relevant to AI ML domain is something on probability and stochastic models, statistics and inference, optimization and mathematical programming, supply chain and logistics, simulation, game theoretic models, of course, the data analytics, and you talk about anything learning, that is artificial intelligence, machine learning, reinforcement learning, online learning, deep neural networks, and all the things we have expertise and we have done project in one form or the other. Okay, so here I have just listed at the top level just to give you the diversity of the projects that the center has uh, undertaken, and some of them are jointly with industry. Some of them have been already concluded or still ongoing. Uh, some of them are like about unsupervised crowd crowdsourcing. Like uh, we have the data labeling is a big issue because a lot of the time we, we don't get uh, label data readily available. Then how to use the crowdsource model to label this. And also this uh, when we get a labels through a crowdsource, the reliability becomes a big issue. Like whether a person has labeled is, did he really have expertise in labeling it or he just gave me an arbitrary label. So how to ensure that such kind of labeling issues are taken care. What are the mechanisms involved in this? So that is what is studied. And uh, there was one more project related to the medical domain where these 3D images were analyzed for uh, some deep generative techniques. And I also also uh, want to highlight some of the projects in which I was also involved is about the cyber security. One of the important things that all of us are now facing is the cyber security and how to use AIML in that is what uh, we studied in this project. And at the end, I will also show some product we have developed in the cybersecurity domain. Okay, some of the industry collaborations which we had in the past are ongoing. We have already listed here, like uh, RBI, Delivery, Zomato, Mahindra, Defense, Applied Material, Cloud Mojo, MetaVN, and Databit. At least in the last couple of months, we have an MOU signed with all this. So one of the things that at TCI we have Concertedly doing is when we take a project, we are also trying to rope in an industry partner so that the product it's will, it will have its own uh, kind of uh, it goes in its own automated phase. Like when we do the R&D part here, when we complete some proof of concepts here, like of course when we take it to industry, it has to uh, survive its own support and all. So that is where we are trying to see if we can directly right away involve an industry partner in that. Now I want to uh, briefly delve into some of the projects that has been done in uh, with some faculty associated with the uh, Technograph Center. So here we did a project with RBI. RBI came up with the mandate that they have this problem of currency distributions. Like they have so many ATMs, they have to plan and make sure that all the ATMs are flush with funds. 
how to how to plan this like they have a limited number of vehicles and also limited num number of security persons to accompany this movement of the vehicles how to ensure that all this is particularly planned so that is been extensively studied like our faculties uh, professor ashutosh mahajan who who he drives mostly into the optimization technique was looking into this project so another project was with this delivery and as we know like company like logistic companies like delivery their problem is both at the last mile and the first mile and their problem is uh, most of them address <coughs> uh, the last miles but they wanted us to look both the last mile and the first mile together so uh, so our uh, again prof faculty team led by professor mahajan looked into various optimizations model how one can plan this things so that that the the delivery time is reduced as much as possible so optimization becomes a very critical and they developed various strategies again through optimization and this optimization methods are again data driven how to meet all this objective and uh, zomato was one more project and uh, there were some very similar projects like this when a food order comes like if uh, this company is take one food order at a time and start making it maybe it will take time so instead of that they 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 can collect orders from wait for some small window collect orders from multiple people and then start preparing which are common items in that way they can reduce but then this uh, gives arise as how to batch all these orders so this this kind of problems were looked into this zomato problem and similarly this is uh, not just about zomato like uh, this kind of problem happens with all the food delivery Uh, because now that the cloud kitchen is becoming very popular where uh, you don't know where the cloud is you simply send order and uh, these people uh, now they are also looking into uh, how to batch this so that their delivery time is minimized as much as possible okay so this was some some of the projects that i think has been delivered and uh, many such projects are going on going i also want to highlight some of the Uh, industry action uh, interactions through the training programs as we said like one of our center's goal is also about the outreach program in that front we are conducting various uh, training program especially we are conducting many program for our defense personnel there are we conducted a 16 week long uh, continuous education program for naval people especially on this uh, naval operation analysis here we cover various aspects like supply chain logistic probabilistic modeling game theory even data analytics machine learning techniques but precisely from their point of view like everybody's needs is different uh, it's not like a generic course it was specifically curated for the defense personnel so like that we had many training in fact uh, currently we have about 23 naval officers who are undergoing training on various aspects of ai ml and uh, data analytics <laughs> okay and uh, we also had many interactions with defense and we have also going on many active engagement with them so uh, this is the photos from last year some of the interactions we have with the defense in fact tomorrow uh, 12th in the same building vmcc we are having another workshop again with the defense personnel uh, i would uh, i don't know if you might some of you might have already got a notification of that uh, if not like if you are interested please do attend it uh, so there we have again several vice admiral level senior officers from the navy are coming to explore various collaboration opportunities and we have also signed mou with them like uh, we have uh, there is a, a college uh, navy where they train senior officers called uh, college of defense management we have a long term agreement with them so many of the projects that they want to deal they seek iit bombay expertise and here also we are trying to see industry partners in some of this project because everything we will not be able to deliver and this is one of the off late focus areas of technograph center how to build the digital twins so digital twins concept is now taking quite a see importance role because everybody want to monitor the health but in the digital domain not the physical uh, domain because physical things are in operational you don't want to touch it you want to monitor its health in the digital domain how to build models for this uh, develop this digital twins lot of ai will go lot of physics will go 
various aspects will go into picture. Now we have started and we did also workshop on this specifically for uh, Navy people. And now <coughs> several interactions are still going on. I have listed some of them. Uh, we have been uh, trying to see we can contribute to the some supply chain project like Army has a big tender about re-engineering their entire supply chain. They wanted IITs to do initially study and <coughs> give them a report and also suggest them how to go about implementing that, that we are participating. And uh, this <coughs> AI-based population man manning. Uh, Army has a big problem in the border areas, like, like border areas are huge, most of them are porous, and uh, they really want to monitor the movement of the people there. Uh, how to develop AI-based techniques so that uh, the movement of the people can be monitored and also mapped. Like we want to know who is this person, where he studied, what are his relatives, kind of maintain a huge database so that it becomes easy for the defense personnel to track. Uh, and uh, recently uh, we have also been participating in this eCourse project where uh, the all the codes across India, they want to digitize their records so that it becomes easily accessible to all. This record should be accessible in all the languages. So they have wanted to form a consortium of IITs to handle this project. Yeah, on the IIT Bombay front, we are participating in that. And recently, there is a big initiative from Department of Telecom called Digital Twin. They especially call it Sangam. So they want to build the digital twins for the cities uh, so that the city planning can be appropriately done. All the, if we have a digital tune kind of a city, we can plan various activities, like as the population grows, which part of the city has to be infrastructure to be built and all. Okay, uh, this part I'll come again. <coughs> yeah, again, these are another things, like uh, our center is involved in uh, certain security related projects. We have, <coughs> with the Ministry of Telecom, we have a uh, long project of five years to develop 5G security guidelines. This 5G security is something also very uh, core to TCA2I and uh, we are developing various security guidelines and in fact some of the security guidelines we have developed here are now being notified by government of India and uh, many of the industries has to comply with this security guidelines because uh, in 5G a lot of uh, equipments and and vendors are mostly outside. We need to make sure that they comply to the Indian security and this task of generating that uh, security guidelines were uh, part of this was given to us. Okay, <clears throat> now this is one last part. I want to, this is a small video of about eight minutes. Can I take run this? Okay. Now, uh, apart from doing these studies, training, our center is also pretty much involved in developing some tools which could be of use to industry and also our government agencies. Here, we have developed a tool called Vajra. It is a cybersecurity tool, mostly to safeguard against uh, cyber threats. I will just uh, run this small video. Let me see if I can run this. Is there an audio? We can check the audio. Let's get this audio. Is there something it can be run from here?
audio may issue have to it will not play right okay the audio seems to be not working but i'll just uh, run through what's happening let me be the audio of this <coughs> so this is a software tool as i said what we want to now do is uh, suppose let's say these are the nodes in your organization which are exposed to the internet obviously when they are exposed to the internet they will be exposed to the security uh, they will be having some security risk what we now wanted to do is monitor their security issues so we have developed an vajra agent which when you put it on this machines just think of like you run your uh, antivirus on your machines right antivirus are mostly signature based but nowadays lot of security things are not just signature based like not of new attacks come for which you may signature may not exist now all those machines we have installed our agent like here it shows like we have uh, enrolled on about 69 agents so so this is a list of all the machines we have and we are monitoring them centrally um so he, here you will see details about what is this machine when was it is enrolled whether it's online or not what kind of operating system it is running and if you go inside it will tell what are the software configuration of that what are the hardware configuration of that and here you will do do lot of uh, control activities like on that machine you will be able to uh, block unblock certain ports uh, centrally then you will be able to block certain ip addresses here and uh, and most of you who has come across this uh, cyber attacks then lot of incidents response need to be done so the lock collection becomes an important tool like here we have a mechanism where all the previous locks could be exported uh, with just one click so all this features and also we have something called the isolation here like if you you feel that one of my node becomes uh, malicious you just a click at one click you can isolate it from your entire network so that it will not spread any malicious activity to other nodes okay, maybe in the interest of time i'll just uh, jump here and it has lot of features like threat hunting like if you want to see that if any malicious files are there in your machine you can simply write a basic simple queries and you will get all the information about that that is what this threat hunting page is going to do and this is something very important because you want to make sure that periodically your infrastructure is not having any malicious domains and this is like broadly about the dashboard of vajra here here you will see which all the hosts that are connectly connected and what kind of operating system machines are enrolled you will see uh, like how the malicious activities progressing are they increasing or decreasing over a period of time and uh, we have built this something called a mitar attack framework so this mitar attack framework is something gold standard in this framework which will tell uh, like basically give a framework to detect alerts and all so we have built and uh, it has also lot of uh, admin control uh, panels so this tool providing cyber security solution and this is being developed indigenously many agencies have expressed interest to use it in fact this has been deployed at department of telecom uh, in sanchar bhavan and uh, it is also under uh, trial in uh, mtnl network operation center and uh, ats maharashtra is also using when variant of this and uh, they are trying and giving us inputs how to improve on this and uh, this we have also made public if any one of you to uh, try this out please use this uh, this was something we have created maybe this link is down now but we will soon enable this 
but uh, this is uh, something is all this project details are put in github uh, please feel free to explore this option and uh, this is something uh, indigenously built solution and very cost effective to be protect ourselves against cyber threats so with this uh, i will stop my talk thank you <laughs>